All right, guys. Today I'll be telling the story of the murder of Pai Hao So Yen, who was a 16-year-old girl that was murdered back in 1997. So anyway, let's tell the story about this. All right. So, Pao San was, was born on June 23rd, 1980, and was the only daughter of the popular Ch Taiwanese host Pai Bingbing, who is still alive, and Japanese author Kuji Kurita. Now, this guy is still alive as usual, but I would just say that this guy who was named Kiki Yokoyara was actually married to Pai Bingbing. The father and daughter, Pai Haoxian, who was kidnapped, tortured, and murdered in 1997. Now, there has been a story about this, Pai Haoxian. So Pai Haoxian was actually a Taiwanese high school student who actually studied at the Hsing Wu High School. Now, what I was really going to say is that, that her abduction case, Pai Haoxian disappeared after leaving for school, the Tsinghua High School. On the morning of April 14, 1997, her family received a ransom note demanding $5,000,000, US dollars, which was equivalent to $8,620,000 in 2020, along with a severe piece of a little finger of a bound girl. Now, there was a price in Taiwan occurred in this accident on April 23rd, 1997, which conducted the case practice after kidnapping its resolution. And some of the pre planned uh, ransom drops spotted the kidnappers. So eventually, in the subcommittee police raid, the suspect was arrested and the two others were enhanced with a gunfight with the police. Now, for the murder. Pai Haoxian's mutilated body was actually weighed down with dumbbells, was found on the drain ditch on April 28, 1997. Investigators said that she has been dead for 10 days and her body's re recovery right here, discovery. So Branson's actually said that it was likely the time of Pai's death. So eventually, it was given to the telephone to give Pai Bing Bing the impression that the doctor was still alive. However, she was apparently tortured. According to Tim Healy and Lori, Lori Underwood of Asia Week said that she was apparently tortured before her death. The photograph of her naked bo dead body was leaked into the mass media of the China Times, which was printed to it. Twelve suspects were arrested, but three of the main criminals, Chen Chen, Chen Chien Xing, Lin Chun Xing, and Cao Chen Mian, escaped the fourth person, Shen Chui He, who was Shen's brother-in-law, was actually involved in the movement. So the sentence was actually overturned to due to the evidence, an island-wide manhunt. So eventually, what I was really going to say is that there was actually the last um, thing that I'm really going to say. So eventually, Pai's father apparently died in 1997. The day just 10 years before her daughter was murdered. Now, what I was really going to say is that Pai Bing Bing was a single mother to Pai Hao Xian. How, how would I know? It's because the father died back in 1987. So, eventually what I was really going to say is there's not much information I was going to say about Pai Hao Xian's uh, murder or when was Pai Hao Xian mm, born. There's nothing I can really say about this. <laughs> but I'm not really mean guys I'm not going to show the pictures to you it can be very very scary and I'm not allowed to show like any graphic pictures which which would be really graphic and unsuitable for people but anyways guys what are my overall thoughts about this story well the reason why I want to tell the story about this teenage girl is because that girl was kidnapped by, by people, you know. People would get kidnapped all over the world, especially Taiwan. When you do see like gangs from Taiwan, eventually you just see them because people would just see that you are walking alone. 
But what I was really going to say is that you should never walk alone with anyone. Especially when, when you're going to school, just get accompanied by an adult. There are lots and lots of bad people, especially gangs. Around the world, there are lots of gangs that kidnap people and murder them brutally. Not mean to you guys, but definitely, this is the scariest part I want to tell the story, is because <sighs> I just think that murder mystery stories, they're definitely like a thing. People would just tell them, mm, tell murder mystery stories, and we just tell like, uh, the story about people, it's okay. But as long as you don't show the pictures to anyone, which I do believe it's very, very scary for all audiences. If, if you guys are really not comfortable with just showing the pictures, I can, I can just stop, you know? I, can, I cannot show you the pictures. These pictures are very graphic. And unfortunately for that, I can't show you these kind of pictures where Pai Hao Yen was murdered. It could be very, very scary for all people, but but once you do it on YouTube, say for instance, you're, you're using an iPad and you're reading the Wikipedia, it is okay. It's because I am not going to show the pictures to you. So eventually what I was really going to say is that, is it really going to be a questionable murderer that Pai Haoxiang would have just survived the murder? Well... If she wasn't abducted, actually, if the 16-year-old wasn't abducted, then I would just think that she wouldn't end up the same face as Junko did, you know? Like, both Junko and, and Pai would have just not got murdered. They wouldn't get murdered, you know? Like, this is actually kind of the scariest story that people would ever tell in their life, you know? Now, there was actually a mistake on the Wikipedia saying about Pai Hao Xian right here. So I went to find a grave website and just thought that Pai Hao Xian was actually born in Fukuoka, Japan. Well, she is. The Wikipedia was correct, you know? And you know, you know, it's because um, if Pai Hao Xian, Pai Hao Xian would have um, survived the murder, if she would have just run away, like, run away very fast, she wouldn't have just gotten herself murdered. But if these kidnappers would have just murdered her, like, brutally, then she would have just stopped being adopted by murders, you know? Like, murderers. Now, what I was really going to say is that, yes, murders can really, really happen to people around the world. So, when you're going to school, it's important to be very, very careful, just in case a bad person would kidnap someone. Now, what I was really going to say is that I know the story about Pai Hao Xian. I have read this story, like, so many times. It was definitely scary to see someone getting murdered, like, like that. Now, I'm not mean to you guys, but definitely this is not graphic. It's because, you know, I'm just, um, I'm just telling the story. That's all. Because of this, I want to keep this channel safe. I don't want to want to show you any graphic footage. It would be very scary for some audiences. So I decided to remain this one as it is for now, I guess. Now I don't want to like read the Wikipedia. Now I want to read the Wikipedia, which is totally fine. It's totally up to you. But please don't go into the videos unless you just um, ask the owner permission. Well, if you do ask the owner permission, you could just probably think that you can just do it, you know? <laughs> so, eventually, if you do, like, film these videos, which apparently you just tell the story, it is fine. But don't show the video unless you have the owner's permission to show the video about this girl getting murdered, you know? But anyways, guys... <laughs> That's all I really need to say for now about uh, Pai ha the story of Pai Hao Sun and how she really just didn't survive, you know? But anyways guys, this is me, Queen Ling the Tomboy Gamer, signing off.